Hello everyone, this video introduces the next toolbox module, Profiling. In the Profiling module, the user can retrieve information and collect the knowledge based on the identity of the chemical or its structure. There are two subsections in the Profiling module, Profiling Methods and Metabolism. Now, we are going to focus on the first section, Profiling Methods. In general, the profiling schemes are combined into six groups based on the information they are providing. Predefined profilers determine the affiliation of a substance with databases and inventories. General mechanistic profilers determine predominantly biochemical properties of the substance that could trigger a variety of adverse effects, such as their potential to interact with macromolecules. Endpoint specific profilers determine substance properties that are related to specific adverse effects, such as acute oral toxicity, bioaccumulation, or mutagenicity. Empirical profilers provide basic chemical information such as chemical elements or organic functional groups constituting the substance. Toxicological profiler, repeated dose, HES, profiler is included here. The profiler contains category boundaries developed based on repeated dose toxicity test data in the database of Hazard Evaluation Support System, HES. Custom profilers, these are user-built profilers reflecting the knowledge and experience of users. Each profiling scheme has documentation provided under the About button. It includes a short description of the scheme, name and affiliation of the developers and donators of the scheme, date of update, etc. Under the Documentation button the user can find more details such as relevance to endpoint, approach used to build a profiler, description of the profiling categories, etc. Now let's go back to the example. This example builds up on the previous tutorial where skin sensitization EC3 was defined as target endpoint. If you have not defined a target endpoint, the same functionalities related to profilers will be available except that the profilers will not be highlighted and sorted according to a target endpoint. It is time to collect the knowledge about our target. Because of the preliminary definition of the target endpoint, the profiling schemes are now organized into three groups, suitable, highlighted in green, the profiler is developed using data or knowledge for the target endpoint. Plausible, highlighted in orange, data or knowledge used to build the profiler is known to be to some extent related to the target endpoint. Unclassified, not highlighted, there is no evidence for relation between used data or knowledge and the target endpoint. Let's profile the target chemical using suitable profiling schemes highlighted in green. To do this select all green profiling schemes and click on the apply button. The results appear on the data matrix. Let's explain the results obtained from the protein binding alerts for skin sensitization by Oasis Profiler by applying a double click on the cell with the result. Since this profiler has hierarchical organization of the profiling categories, the results appear following the three-level hierarchy. The first level shows the mechanism of interaction with proteins, for example SN2. The second one is associated with mechanistic alert which is nucleophilic substitution at sp3 carbon atom. And the third one is associated with the structural alert, alkyl halides. Select the structural alert and click on the details button. The mechanistic justification of the category is explained first. Here the mechanism of interaction with proteins is explained along with the references used to build this justification. The training set chemicals are listed in the panel training set. Experimental EC3 data for each chemical of the local training sets is also shown. The way the current category is built is shown in the definition panel. Here, structural and parametric requirements could be defined. Once the knowledge is collected, it is time to check if the experimental EC3 data is available for the target. You will learn how to collect experimental data in the next video. Congratulations! Now you have become familiar with the profiling module. If you want to know more about QSAR Toolbox, watch the other video tutorials.